This is a video for comparing and ordering rational numbers. The trick. Here's the trick. You want to make the numbers into decimals and then compare them. If you haven't watched the fraction to decimal tricks video, you're going to want to do that first because those are the hard ones, making fractions into decimals. So this first one, we're going to compare two numbers. We have 4 fifths and 45 percent. Now some people are going to say, oh, they're equal. They have the same digits. But do not judge a number by its digits. First thing you want to do is get them both into the same form. And like I said earlier, you want to get them both into decimal form. So you could either divide 4 by 5 for 4 fifths or just memorize that 4 fifths, you double the numerator, it's going to be 8 tenths. 45 percent is going to be 45 hundredths. You just do the old decimal slide two places to the left. Now some kids might say, oh, 45 is going to be bigger because 45 is bigger than 8. That's not how you want to think it. What you want to do is look at both of their tenths places. And when you look at that, you see that the 8 is bigger than the 4. 8 tenths is going to be bigger than 4 tenths. The other way you could look at it is to think of this as 80 cents, which is going to be larger than 45 cents. So either way, you're going to put in a greater than sign. So 4 fifths is greater than 45 percent. If you want, you can pause, try to figure this one out on your own. We're going to make 1 eighth into a decimal. And if you remember what 1 eighth is, that's half a quarter, which is 125 thousandths. 18 percent, you slide your decimal two places over, that would be 18 hundredths. If you want to think of this as money, you could think of it as 12 cents being less than 18 cents. Or if you want to make them both go out to the thousandths place, you could think 125 thousandths is less than 180 thousandths. Either way, it's going to be less than. Go ahead and pause if you want. We've got 5 sevenths compared to 57 percent. If you remember your sevenths trick from one of my previous videos, you're going to look at uh, 5 sevenths. 7 goes into 50 seven times. It's going to start with a 7. And then you sing the old 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. And you're going to have this. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. And then you're going to have 57 percent be 0 0.57, 57 hundredths. You can just focus on the tenths place and realize that 7 tenths is going to be larger, greater than 5 tenths. So even if you don't have the sevenths trick down, as long as you figure out what's in the tenths place and maybe go out to the hundredths every once in a while, usually you're going to be able to figure out, you know, when comparing two numbers, you'll be able to get the answer. So even if you don't know this whole extra part. Now we've got a mixed fraction, and we have a very large percentage over here. So we've got that 1 and 3 fourths. Well, 1 and 3 fourths is going to be the same thing as 1 point, whatever 3 fourths works out to. And it works out to 1.75. Over here we have 175%. You're going to do the two places slide to the left. In this case, these two numbers are equal. So now we're going to order from least to greatest. You want to make all these numbers into decimal form and then take it from there and make decisions on who's larger and whatnot. So 4 fifths, 8 tenths. 120 percent is 1 and 2 tenths. So we've got some scientific notation here. With a negative exponent, we can do the old trick where you can stick three zeros out front. Or you could slide the place value 3 to the left and double check it. 1, 2, 3. So they're all in decimal form now. You can make some decisions just by looking at each of these numbers out to the tenths place. When you see 0, 0.0, that's definitely going to be the smallest. So you're going to rewrite the number in its original form. And then you've got 8 tenths. And then you have the 1 and 2 tenths. So there they are, rewritten from least to greatest. Another way to think about it is to say that this first number is less than the middle number, 
which is less than the largest number. We're going to make all these numbers into decimals. 5 eighths, if you remember your eighths trick, that's half a quarter more than 50 cents. 4 eighths would be 50 cents. So you're going to add 12, so it's going to be 62 and a half cents, which is 0 0.625. 58% is 0.58. Now this next scientific notation is going to be a big number. It's going to go four to the right. We're only going to need three zeros there. If you're still not getting those, check out the uh, scientific notation video. So looking at these numbers now, we can just look at the tenths place, or the whole number and the tenths place. Obviously, this guy over here to the right, that's going to be the largest. We've got that 58% being the smallest because the 5 tenths was smaller than the 6 tenths. Then we have our 5 eighths, and then we have the scientific notation. Once again, you could read this. You could think of this as 58% is less than 5 eighths, which is less than 5 and 8 tenths times 10 to the power of 4. We have some more numbers here. We've got 5 sevenths, 77%. 7.5 times 10 to the negative 4. We're going to make it into a decimal. Once again, that 7th trick really comes in handy here. 77%. And then we have, we're going to have a total of four zeros in front of these digits. Let's just double check the decimal sliding left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now they're all in decimal form. We can look at them all out to the hundredths place to make some decisions. With this being zero and a bunch of zeros, this is going to be the smallest. Then we have 71 cents compared to 77 cents. This is going to be in the middle. And then finally, your 77%. When reading this, you could throw in some inequalities. 7.5 times 10 to the negative 4 is less than 5 sevenths, which is less than 77%. All right, we're going to do one more. 1 sixth as a decimal is going to be 0.16 repeating. 16% is going to be 0.16, 16 hundredths. And then we have this one. You're going to slide it 2 to the right. You're only going to need one zero. So this 160 is definitely going to be the largest. So we need to look at uh, this 16 with the 6 repeating. And then we have a 16. So far, they look exactly the same. We're going to need to extend these numbers out to the thousandths place. So for here, it would be a 6 because this 6 is repeating. So another 6 would appear here. Over here, this would be a 0 because there's nothing in the thousandths place. So when comparing these two, you're going to see that the zero is smaller than the six. So 160 thousandths, 16 percent, is going to be your smallest. Then the 1 sixth, then the 160, which was 1.6 times 10 to the 2. 16 percent, less than 1 sixth, which is less than 1.6 times 10 to the second. Hope this helps. Best of luck to you.